The young woman has sewn to her shirt a label reading, Pity the Blind. The many items in this painting that are exclusively appreciated visually would have you think the message of this painting is to be grateful for the things that you can experience that a few others may not. Particularly and most primarily, the double rainbow spanned across the background in contrast to the blue-gray overcast sky. Another colorful item that is placed in a conspicuous location is the butterfly. Not only are the kaleidoscopic wings optically appreciated, but the soft flutter of the creature in flight is also a visual appreciation. Amidst the long span of yellow-green pasture, light in color and invigorated with moisture, after presumably the cold gray winter, are birds and animals. The donkey, the horse, and the flock of sheep are all white or very light in color. The herd of cattle is brown, but a light brown. Perhaps most notably are the crows. The gradient of violent has such a wide and careful spectrum that the bird closest to the foreground has an equal amount of black shading and white highlights. The scene depicts a rainstorm that has passed. The scenario of after the storm is a very important feature in setting the tone. If you can imagine the feeling that this painting would evoke if a storm were approaching, with this in mind, the viewer would now be able to appreciate the tone of vitality in the scene. While the girl basks in the sunlight with a composure that is without fault or weakness, we the viewers also bask in the tone. Presumably, the younger sibling leans into the blind girl with one hand in the hand of her sister and the other hand pulling the hem of her sister's cloak playfully over her face. The blind girl, draped with a cloak in the warm color of burnt sienna and covered in a patched dress with the strong color of orange, seems to be beyond appreciative. Rather, the blind girl seems to be the host to all the life that surrounds her. Per te 